Hey guys, I get a lot of questions from people asking how do, if I have an image and I just want to change like the color of her glasses or the color of her lips, how can I do that? So I'm going to show you how you can do that inside Cricut Design Space. So I'm on a blank canvas. I'm going to go to the left hand side and click on upload. And I'm just going to select this image here because she has glasses on. And I'm going to select insert images. <clears throat> You notice over to the right hand side when my image comes in, it says that this is a cut image. And then if you look in the bottom right hand corner, there is a button that says contour. Okay, so depending on how this file was created, this SVG file was created, sometimes you're going to find that, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to come in pieces um, or layers here and it'll be displayed with the images and the name of the part of the image there, or it will be here under contour, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna duplicate her and I'm gonna bring her over. And then I'm gonna go here and select one and select contour. And when I click on contour, it's going to bring that image in. It's pretty, pretty large, so I really can't see it. So I'm just gonna click on this little minus sign so that I can kind of bring her in a little bit so I can see it better. Okay, so now we can kind of see um, what we got going on here. So if you want it to go in, and let's say you want it to go in and you want it to change the color of her lips. So I am going to go over to my right hand side of this high contour screen and I'm going to deselect everything except for her lips. So selecting everything, and it's a quicker way to do this, but since there's not really much to this image. And then I'm just going to click on the X. There's no save or anything like that. And so I'm just going to hit the X, and all you're going to see here are her lips, okay? So then all you have to do is just change the color of the lips to whatever color you want them to be. Then we're going to go back over to our main image. We're going to go back to contour. And this time, again, we're going to resize it so we can see what we're working with. And I'm just going to deselect the lips. I think it's this little thing right here. There we go. And everything else I'm going to keep. So again, there's no submit or save button. You're just going to hit X. And now you have her without any lips. So all you do is you're going to move the lips over. And now you have put the image in with her lips being red. Now the glasses on this one may be a little bit harder, but what we'll do is we'll take a stab at it. I'm gonna go ahead and click it and select duplicate. And let's just see if the glasses are where we can actually separate them out. It looks like we have some middle parts, but not the end part. So you can kind of see here we really don't have a clear um, cut where we can get the glasses because that's going to take out the entire eye part and not just a round, which is what we're needing. So this one, you can't change the glasses. So we would have to leave it. <clears throat> we would have to leave it um, as is. OK, so this one, we can't change the glasses, but I'll see if I can find one and then I'll upload it. All you have to do at this point is you're going to go ahead and select both of them and you're going to select group and attach. I'm um, not attached, but flatten, flatten in the bottom right corner. And now you have um, the complete image. Now, if it's a cut and print that you're looking for, you would do the... Um, flatten. If you're looking to do um, a cut, then I'm going to deselect what I just did and I'm going to change it now to attach. Let's see. And we really don't even have to attach it because it's already grouped and it's going to print on different screen or cut on different screens anyway. So we have her and then we have her lips. We've grouped it together. We're going to go ahead and hit make it. And this is where you would layer. You would get 
um, all of this on one mat and then you would have her lips on a separate mat and that's because the lips are a different color. Okay, so that is how you can go in and actually do um, mess with the contour, change the contour where you can change something or a color of something on the actual image. Okay. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about what you saw here, then please let me know. Thank you guys for being a part of my Facebook group, Ken Dorses Cricket and Creative Crafters. And um, also thank you for um, subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you are not subscribed, please um, go to my YouTube channel and please subscribe, like, and also share my tutor tutorials with others, guys. I don't mind if you share my tutorials. All right. And click that bell notification so you can be made aware anytime I upload videos to YouTube. All right, guys, you know my motto, each one reach one so that each one can teach one. You guys have a good day. Bye.